So that's an overview of Perch, how to update and edit content. One of the last things I'm going to show you is a little more in depth about just editing um, some images. So if I go to, I'm going to go to a special section on the site, such as the bio section. So in this case, on this page, we have a background image. Um, we have a picture of the individual. We have their name, their title, secondary line for title that's not in bold. Then we have some text to describe them. Now all the sites, or most of the sites, um, will, um, will work for uh, mobile as well as desktop and uh, just a side note on that the content on your mobile site is updated in the same place as the content on your desktop site you're updating everything in one location so you don't have to manage a separate mobile website and that's when you're dealing with us uh, so if I go back into perch if I want to update some of those bio entries go to bio and then I could see the region is bio entries here. Now these are like those items as I was talking about earlier. They can be reordered if need be. In this case they're actually set uh, in the design to alternate right, left. If I scroll down it'll continue. Right, left, like that on the desktop. So to control that, there's actually this little drop down for right and left. This is something custom, you know, the, there may be some things on your site that are custom just like this. Um, and in which case you want to take into consideration, and these will be pointed out to you, but you want to take into consideration something like this and say, okay, if I change this to left, it's going to flip the design a little bit because, or it could be a lot because in this case, let's say I wanted to change this and place this over on the right instead of the left. Well, that's kind of defeating the purpose of this image because this is set up where the individual is on the right-hand side, but her content is on the left. If I swap this on the right, that's going to be covering her. You're going to see kind of background um, uh, people, not the center focus of this image, and that's not what we want. So you want to take things like that in consideration and see what's best for the piece of content that you're dealing with. But if we just look at the content straightforward, there's a first name, there's a last name, a title one, that's the line that was bolded, there's a title two, there's some bio and description, um, and this is pretty much uh, straightforward text here. Okay, and again, I do want to show you a little more with updating images, so I am going to jump to another page, which is media. If I go to Media Gallery Items, there's another section of the site. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is a section. This is something that we do for Media Galleries, where um, you have a list of basically uh, index cards or however you want to turn these. Uh, and each one has a different type of media. It can be a video, it can be an audio file, it can be a, a still picture. Uh, you know, that pretty much covers the top three media types that, you know, you can display on a site. So this is nice because it displays kind of a gallery all in one, but not your typical gallery where you're, uh, you know, continually scrolling, you know, you can't find the content that you need. Um, this is uh, very dynamic in the sense that you can run filters here and drop down your media type and you can view all media which is default or let's say I just wanted to view the audio now that changes the view this is all the audio files I can click on one that audio file will load and start playing I'm gonna close that out for now you can do that with drop that back down and let's just show video files again these are cards right so you click on one the video starts playing in this case there's also categories tied to these media items so if we wanted to view all the um, all the dances and there's two of them 
that we can do that. So the question is, how does this get updated by the person who owns the website, the content entry? You. So we go back to Perch. And again, these are a list of items, so they can be reordered for the way that you want them to show up by default, as we went over earlier. I'm not going to go back to that for now. But we can update the title, we can update what type of content it is, but usually for something like this, you're not going to be doing a lot of updating unless it's, oh, you know, I accidentally misspelled that title or I, I want to get rid of that. So when we're dealing with something like this, most of the time we're going to save and add another. Now we just scroll all the way down again. We have a new section here. So let's say I wanted to upload an image. In that case, you can click on, just come back one more second. Um, if you wanted, I mean, you can really enter these in any order that you'd like. If you wanted to say, okay, let me let me make sure I have that image first. You click that link. Um, if you have already uploaded the image to the system, it'll display here, but let's assume that you have it. So you go up here, you click Add Asset, and then you can either drag files here from your computer, you just drag them in here and they'll upload, or you can click and you'll get a dialog box asking you to upload a file. We'll just give this a minute to load. Usually it won't take this long. And let's just say I was going to quickly pop in here. So to make sure that's good, hit open. That image is now uploaded. Great. Now if I want to use that, I just click on it. And then you can see this green button showed up, use selected. Now we have that ready to go. I'm gonna enter a title in there. I'll say that this is a photo. I'll give it a category of photo. All photos should get a category of the same. These other categories will pertain to whether it's an audio or a video file. And this will be customized based on your site. This is only for audio and video, this media type, media ID. And that's something that will be gone into detail if that applies to you. We can save. And if I come back to the media page, I refresh. Now that image is showing up right here as we planned. Great, nice and quick, simple, nice and easy. I'll close out of that. Now if we wanted to do a video in this instance, I'll come back to Perch. Save and add another. You can do it right there. It says updated, so I know another one's added. Now again, remember, when you save and add another, just scroll all the way down, and you'll have a blank entry here. So I want to add a video. Let's say the category is going to be about. Um, now for this instance, this is video is using Vimeo. Now that's a platform like YouTube, such as this. So each video page on Vimeo uh, has a URL, a link, if you go to the top address bar here, that has a number at the end. So what this is, what we need to do here is we just copy that number, come back to Perch, paste that as the media ID, give it a title, let's say about DDM. And it does not need an image because, again, the video is the content. This isn't an image. We only choose image if we want 
to be type photo. So I'll go ahead and click Save. That's been updated. Come back to the page, refresh. And if I just choose the drop down for video, here it is. Here's the entry that I just made. Come set your room. In that place. Okay, so that's how to update media. That is a thorough overview of Perch CMS, updating content on your website, how to do so. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us, and we'll be happy to reach out and help. God bless.